Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through, well, something not necessarily new, but a little different. This is a continuation of my Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition, The Right Way walkthrough. And that means that this is now a walkthrough for Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64. See, it has dawned on me that we have actually spent enough time inside Pokemon Stadium that it might as well just be a great idea to actually walk through this one, too. I'm actually playing the Pokemon Yellow on the Game Boy Tower. Well, to get a 100% game, we are going to have to spend a lot of time in Pokemon Stadium itself. We've already seen bits and pieces of Professor Oak's Pokemon Lab, and we're going to end up ending the entire thing inside the Gym Leader's Castle. So, let's start this walkthrough of Pokemon Stadium in Kids Club. Oh yeah, Kids Club. See, I'm actually horrible at these, these games, and I mean really bad. So we are going to run through each game, once on easy, once on normal, and once on hard. And at hard, I am going to fail each and every one of these things. I promise. I'm really bad. So... Let's start with Magikarp Splash. Make Magikarp Splash high and hit the counter to score. Press and hold the A button to make Magikarp Splash high. Hey, that sounds great to me. Press the A button just as Magikarp lands for quick splashes. Huh, okay. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Now, once this gets up to a uh, difficult level, the number we're looking to beat is around 25 to 27. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have that happen. The best I think I've done so far at any time is about 25. We are not going, well, I am not anyway, going to be able to win this game. I'm going to try, but it's not going to happen. Let's be honest. So, and so now with that out of the way, let's go on to Clefairy Says. Hey, why not? Now with Clefairy says, remember the arrows on the blackboard. When the teacher tells you, enter the arrow directions on the control pad. And the best student wins. Yeah, good luck. Okay, this is another one of those, I am terrible at this game. I have fun with it, but I'm horrible. Okay, I can do this. I got that. So, now which one of these three mess this up, because in this case, it wasn't me. Wow, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this sounds fun. Oh, and I messed that up, too. I hit the up button twice in a row, quite by accident, but it happened. Yep. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Okay. Now, hopefully I got that right. And if the other two made mistakes, then I should be okay. And, yeah. Perfect. So I win a game. Wonderful. And, yeah, it's, it is actually just that easy. Now, saying that, it's not always that easy. Once that one gets to the difficult levels, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, very difficult. Run, ratata, run. Sure, why not? Let's give it a shot. And run, ratata, run. Well, tap the A button repeatedly to run. Press up on the control pad to jump over hurdles, and the first one to the goal wins. Yeah, okay. Now, since this is easy, you're allowed to make two mistakes and still potentially win. Uh, once you get to um, medium, you're allowed to make one mistake. And at hard, if you make a single mistake, you've lost it. So it is very possible to do this, but you just can't mess up. And fortunately, I've already made, well, unfortunately, I guess, I've already made one. And I was able to pull it out, which, hey, that's great. So, man, just like that, one more game down. No, we're going to play a different game this time. And now, this one, believe it or not, 
I have never beaten this game. Oh yeah, this should be fun. Even on easy, I cannot beat this. I just don't have the timing for it. But in Snore War, press the A button when the pendulum gets to the center red needle to cast Hypnosis. And the last one awake wins. Yeah. This should be fun. So it gets faster and faster, and that's fine. But uh, I don't have the timing for it. I have never had the timing for it. And if I'm lucky, I won't completely embarrass myself with this. Though I'm not promising anything. Um, for me, I have just not been able to do this. And even on easy, I have a feeling I am not going to win. And that's okay. So we're going to see what I can do with it, but I'm not planning on having anything happen here. So let's see how badly I do this. And uh, hey, at least I didn't outright lose. Well, well, what do you know? I actually won. There's the first time for everything. Wow, man. <laughs> okay. I never want to do that again. But, yeah, we're going to be doing that again. Just not at this level. And now for another fun one. This is Thundering Dynamo. Okay, so for Thundering Dynamo, you play as either Pikachu or, or Voltor. When the lamp is blue, tap the A button repeatedly to charge electricity. Tap the B button when it's green. Okay, so far so good. Pressing the wrong button drains your stored electricity, and the first one to be fully charged wins. Okay, let's see what we can do. I actually play as Voltorb this time, and I'm fine with that. So, let's see if we can actually do something well here. And, yeah, so far so good. And just like that, this game is over, and I love Pikachu getting shocked. That's brilliant to me. Okay. He just looks so happy. Okay, that's fine too. And now on to another really fun one. This one is Sushi Go Round. You play as one of four Lickitungs. Oh yeah, this is always good. Sushi Go Round. Press the A button to eat the sushi. The biggest spender wins. Eat the same kind in a row to score more points. Now, one of these will turn you red and make you run around in circles. One of them will turn you green and make, around, make you run around in circles. Um, I know that the one for 20 will turn you green. The one for red, I cannot recall. So we're going to find out. And let's just see how badly this is. And until that point, we are just going to see what we can do here and maybe actually do some maybe do pretty well hopefully we can i missed that one but i'm taking it now okay so okay fine then be that way okay so now i know which one will make me okay that's not good but i'm doing it again there you go. So now I'm confirmed on which one will turn me green. <laughs> okay. Or not. Oh, that was bad. Okay. So, that's okay too. I at least know now which ones to stay away from. And as I said it, I tried to grab one anyway. Oh, that can't be good. So I'm pretty sure I lost that one, and that's fine. Hey, no, I didn't. Wonderful. Okay, whatever. I'll take that win. And off to the next game. And the next game is, well, you know what? This one's actually not that bad. If you're not used to it, Ekans Hoop Pearl is not fun. But, you know, it doesn't get that bad. So... Aim using the control pad. Pull back and flick the control stick to launch Ekans. The one with the highest score wins. Pull the control stick back farther to toss farther. Flick it lightly to toss a short distance. Yeah. Good luck.
Oh, okay, so for this, the hardest part is actually, for me anyway, getting my direction going. And then, yeah, of course, the... Okay, so, so far I'm actually doing pretty well. And, yeah. Now, in this, there are also gold ones that show up. But, I'm not 100% sure as to when they actually do show up. So, for now, I'm just going to kind of take the win on this. And that's okay. Under the assumption, of course, that I can actually hit these things. And that was just way too far out. So let's try if I can... Yep, there we go. I can hit that one. And now I'm going to go after this one. And yes, I got that one too. Perfect. There's the gold one. And I got it. Wonderful. And that's it. That's our time. And I won by quite a bit, actually. It gets a lot harder. A lot harder. Okay. And now for Rock Harden. Yeah, this one's actually not that bad. For Rock Harden, you press the A button to harden and avoid being squashed by the boulders. Harden only works while the A button is pressed. But beware, because Harden will consume HP. Watch for boulder shadows. Yeah, it's not that bad. So, in this case, I play as a Kakuna, which is fine. And all I've got to do is outlast the other we other three, and it's not going to be that tough. But in saying that, this is one of those that I do actually have problems with. My timing is just horrible for most of these things. So we'll see how well I can actually do. But so far, so good. And one is out already. And it looks like I win. Great! Yeah, these get a lot harder when you stop doing them on easy mode. Now for my favorite out of the bunch. And it isn't necessarily that it's my favorite. This is Dig Dig Dig. And it, for me, for whatever reason, is just one of the easier ones for me. Tap the L and R direct... Uh, tap the L and R buttons back and forth to make Sand Shrew dig. The first one to hit water wins. Tapping the same button twice makes Sand Shrew stop. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can do this. So let's see what we can do. And even in hard mode, this one isn't actually that difficult. So it should be pretty easy for me. And just like that, it's all over. Wonderful, man. Perfect. And so now we are going to quit. So for the first... And this has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Stadium for the N64. Thanks for watching. Till next time.